Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we are going to perform data wrangling and cleaning activity to clean and transform our data set. So we are going to use shark attack data set here. So without doing any further delay, let's get started. So select a star from attack table. So as you can see here, we have a bunch of columns like case number, date, year, type, country, etc. Okay, so our first step will be finding the null values. Okay, so for example, so for now we will check the null value for date and case number. Okay, so for that we will write query select star from attack table where date is null or case number is null. So let's run this query. So now as you can see we have total 11,423 rows where date is null or case number is null. So you can see that in this case we have date null but case number in case number we have value but similarly then we have null in case number as well so we will be deleting all rows that contain null in any of the column and exception is species column which we will deal at a later stage okay since this data is important as we don't have any value for date case number type activity age time location name area and injury so we need to exclude those rows or we can say that we need to delete those rows where the value is null so for that we will write this command delete from the table name where our date is null and these columns are null so let's run this query so now you can see 14324 rows are affected so it has deleted all the rows where these columns were null okay so now we need to find rows with type as invalid in our data set. So for that, we will write this command select from attack table where type is equal to invalid. Um, so let's run this code. So now we have total 79 rows where type is invalid. So as you can see that type is equal to invalid. Okay. So now let's check how many types we have in this type column. So for that we will use distinct. So select distinct type from attack table, attack table. Okay, we'll run this. So we have six types here and two are similar. As you can see the row number three and row number six, vote and voting likely refer to same type. So we will update this vote with voting. Okay, so for that command is update table name which is attacks and we need to change the value of this type column so we need to set type is equal to voting where type is equal to vote okay we'll run this code so seven rows are affected so in this whole data set we have so seven rows where uh, we have vote instead of voting so let's run this query again select distinct type from dbo so now you can see we have only five types Okay. After that, same thing we will do for activity as well. So in order to know the total number of activity in our table, we will write select distinct activity from a text table. So we have total 391 rows. Okay. And many are similar or fall in same bucket. So for example, we, we have fishing in many values okay so we need to check so we will use select distinct activity from our table where activity like fishing okay so we will check how many how many activities uh, are there which are similar or fall in same bucket okay so we'll run this so we have total 18 rows which contain the data starting from fishing then we will check for fatal as well fatal column as well so let's run this. So we'll execute this. We have four types. So first and second is same. And the problem is, you know, here we have white space. So we can update this. So for that, what we will do, we will copy this query here. And what we can do, we will update the table, set this column fatal y n. Okay. is equal to n where 
this fatal column has space and value okay so we need to update all those rows where we have space and so let's run this so you can see three rows are affected now if we go back to this command select distinct fatal from dbo attack now you can see we have only three rows and none and one now we will check for our name as well so select distinct name from attack so here you can see we have some rows which contain gender as well in the name column. So in order to find those rows, we will write this command select name from the table attacks where name in male, female, boy, girl. Okay, so we will run this code. And now you can see we have total 126 rows here. Okay, so, so now we will compare this uh, gender value is name column with the actual gender column to see if they are same. So we will write this command select name and sex from attack table where name in male, female, boy or girl order by sex. Okay. So we'll run this code. And now you can see um, there is only one row which has male but in sex it is none. Okay. And uh, in other rows it is matching. Like if we have female in name then it is F in sex. So what we will do, we will replace the gender values in the name column with unknown where, where we have name in male, female, girl and boy. Okay, so for that command is update table attacks set name is equal to unknown where name in male, female, boy and girl. Okay, let's run this code. Now it has affected 126 rows. So um, let's go, let's run this query again. So now you can see that it has returned no results because now we don't have any row where name in male, female, boy and girl. Okay. After that, uh, in order to clean our data, so sometime in data, we see some white space as well. So for example, in our name column, we we have some white, white space. So for that, what we will do, we will use trim with name column. Okay. So in order to update the table, what we will do, update table name attacks set name is equal to trim name okay so we are using this trim function to trim our data so to trim our value so it will remove all the white space so let's run this code now you can see 2059 rows are affected now we need to check the species column where species is null or where we have some white spaces so we will run this query select species from a text table where species is equal to blank space or species is equal to null okay so you can see we have total 672 rows where species is null and maybe it have uh, and it has white space as well so we will update our species column with unknown where species is uh, null or we have white space so we'll run this command now 672 rows are affected okay so let's check our data again select species from dbo text so now you can see we have some unknown value as well where it was null before okay so now we will check our injury column so select distinct injury from attacks so we have total 1381 rows Okay, and you can see the, here we have this fatal value which is in capital letter. So we need to change it to camel case. So for that we will update our column. Okay, so update the table set injury is equal to fatal which is in camel case where injury is fatal which is in upper case. Okay, let's run this code. Now 151 rows are affected. Okay, so let's check our data. So now you can see our data is looking in much better state like we have removed the null, we have uh, removed the white spaces, we have uh, transformed our data as well like which was redundant. Okay, so now if we need to extract the year from the date column as you can see the date column is in date format with timestamp. So for that we have this year function so select year we will use year function on date from attacks table and order by 
year. Okay, so let's run this. So now we have got year as well in ascending order. As we have not defined, it should be in ascending or descending. So by default, it is taking it in ascending order. Okay. Now let's see our data again. So as you can see in country, we have our values in capital letter. So let's convert it into the camel case. So for that, what we will do, we need first letter in capital letter and all other letters should be in lower case. So for that, first we will, what we will use, we will use substring function and we will take only first value. Okay. And we will change that in upper case. Okay. And after that, we will concat this value with our rest of the letters. So for that, what we will do, we will use substring function and we will start it from two till to the length of the value in the column and it should be in lower case okay and we are concatenating it with the first value which is in upper case and we will give it an alias country proper case from a text table okay so let's run this code so now you can see we have a value in country column in camel case so now we need to update the column so right now we are just selecting and transforming this now we need to update as well. So update a text table set country is equal to and we will use the same logic here. So we'll run this code. Okay, so 2015 rows are affected. Okay, so let's go to our data again. So now you can see we have country in camel case. Okay, so now we suppose we have this column sex, we want to rename it to gender. So for that, we will write this command sp rename, then we will mention the table name, which is our attack dot sex, and we need to change it to gender. Okay, let's run this quick. So it has renamed this column. So now if we check our data, we can see here it has it has changed to gender okay now we will do the same thing to fatal column as well so if we go to this fatal here we have uh, in yes or no in brackets so suppose we want to remove it um so again we will write this code sp rename and then column name is fatal yn and uh, what we want here fatal only okay so let's run this code. so it has changed this as well now let's check our time column in a text table so as you can see here uh, we have this uh, two digit number which shows us time like total hours okay so we have uh, this in this format 13 hour 0, 0 minute and suppose we need to create one more column attack time okay so for that what uh, we can do here so we can write select so we need time and we we need substring so we need first two letter of time as well okay so what we will do we will use the case condition here case when substring time so we need to take only two first two values okay so select so case when substring and two value first two values of time is less than four then it should be, then we need pre dawn value and if it is greater than four and less than seven then it is early morning if it is greater than equal to seven or if it is like in this format seven and it is less than 10 then it should be morning and if it is greater than 10 and less than 12 then early morning if it is greater than 12 and less than 13 it is noon and similarly we will do for all other values as well okay and then we will end our uh, case condition and we will give it an alias as attack time from attacks table and we are ordering it by attack time okay so let's run this code so now you, you can see we have got attack time as well so currently we are just selecting and transforming this column but now we need to update as well so update attacks table and we need to set time and then we will use the same logic here okay so we'll run this so it has updated 2059 rows okay so let's run this code and check our data. Select a star from a text table. So now if I go to the time column, we can see here afternoon, evening, early noon. 
so the data is in much presentable state now and we are getting meanings as well okay so now suppose we want to rename this time column to attack time as it shows at what time the attack has happened okay so for that again we will uh, run the same query sp rename then the column name is dbo.attacks.time and we need attack time instead of time okay so we'll run this code okay so this has changed time to attack time now we will check our transform data so now we have our transform data ready so we have removed the null values from here and we have transformed our data we remove the redundant values from the data so hope you have enjoyed this video thank you for watching